Here's an interesting comment about PHP. I'm just going to read it and I'm going to comment on this. For me, it's opening up a whole new world. Since I started learning PHP, I've discovered all these scripts for all kinds of things you can't buy anywhere. Some of them haven't been maintained well, but if you know PHP well enough, you can refactor it to make it compatible with the most recent version of PHP. Find and change all the deprecated elements, and now you have a fully functional app. I'm bringing solutions into the workplace that none of my coworkers are. It's working for me. That's one of the strengths of PHP, by the way. It's that it's been around for so long, so many people used it in the real world context just to get stuff out, to hack stuff out. But there's tons of stuff out there. And a lot of it's not well written, as he just said, but you may have like 75% of the guts of what you need there. And so that you can just grab it, improve it. Refactor means just, you know, rework it, improve it, fix it up, make it, uh, make it cool. And then boom, drop it in where you need to have it dropped in and Bob's your uncle. That's a perfectly reasonable thing. There's a lot of work out there in the programming world where you need people who can put out some quick scripts, quick little mini programs that get the job done. Very common. This video is sponsored by WP Forms. This is a plugin for WordPress that allows you to easily add very powerful forms into your WordPress sites without knowing how to code. You get drag and drop capability. It's responsive and mobile friendly. There are instant notifications. Payments can be made easy. You got form templates, conditional logic, and much more. WP Forms helps make developers' life easier by helping them create smart forms faster. Go to wpforms.com slash killerphp and get a good discount. Let me give you a quick example how uh, uh, innovative scripting, that's not even innovative, just good use of scripting can really do an amazing job for a business. So for example, one of my school districts that uses Studio Web, they uh, wanted to be able to control everything about their district remotely. So what they do is they manage everything through their database. And what we did was we set up a system where they will output a CSV with all the changes, all the updates that they need for their school and they drop it into a, uh, a directory on their systems. They have a cron operating, a script cron operating, that then uh, shoots that file up to one of our uh, systems, one of our virtual servers. We grab that, we have a cron on our, on, on our end, a cron is basically an automated process. So we have a cron on our end that activates a script that goes over, logs in, grabs their system, their CSV file rather, processes it, makes sure everything's cool. And then if everything's cool, then it sends it to another system that then processes that, that, that data and updates Studio Web for their, uh, for their use. So it's not a big giant program, it's a bunch of scripts here and there that causes a process to happen and automates the whole system. It's fantastic. It works really well. And it's not, it's programming, but it's more scripting, I would say. But it's, it's as relevant as any other piece of software out there. And it's super important. So yeah, PHP is really good at that because PHP, there's tons of legacy stuff out there, especially if you're working for small businesses. You know, there's tons of like shopping cart implementations out there. There's tons of, you know, all kinds of stuff. I can't think of other things. You know, blogs, like your CMSs, uh, you know, you got Drupal, you got, uh, you got WordPress. It's a little bit more advanced. There's all kinds of little things like little mailing scripts and who knows, right? It depends on what your organization will need. So it's a good language that way. That's another, that's another reason why Python is so popular because it's got tons of modules, basically a similar type of thing that you can leverage to do all kinds of stuff within a business. So there you go. Yeah, yeah, PHP, it, uh, it has its uses. It's, you know, people criticize it because it's got a dirty past. So is Java, right? So is Java, so is Python. Like you got lots of Python 2x 
code out there, but won't work with 3.x code. Uh, you got lots of old Java out there, you know, like applets. Nobody uses these anymore. But yeah, you know, all the older languages have dirty legacies to a certain extent, you know. JavaScript too. You just got to use what's good and uh, take it from there. Bye-bye. <laughs>